Hello, hello. I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. Although on LinkedIn, it now says Wrangler. Anyway, yeah, if that's you're nice. brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away, even when you are a Wrangler. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little <laughs> bell icon for updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks for joining us on our keto journey. Yep. I updated LinkedIn because it said I was president of Keto Chow. And I kept on getting stupid emails from companies. Oh, hey, I see that you were president of Keto Chow. Wow, it must have been great to get to that role. Oh, uh, how about your uh, Solly Community College where you went to college, blah, 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 AI generated thing. So I, I changed my title to Wrangler. So it would be harder to find you. Well, the surprisingly, Wrangler was something that was already That's in really the list. That's really weird. That's of, super weird. Like what you could choose from. <laughs> but that's not real. He's not really a Wrangler. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> anyway, uh, Exposing Darkness is here. So is Purple and Love and Nana. Hello. How are you guys? Says, Good evening, my people. Bluegrass Girl is here as well. Hi, Sarah. Hope you're ready for the Arctic cold. It's coming your way. It's supposed to tomorrow. So I saw cold. the thing, and it looked like that was more around the Midwest, which isn't very west when you mm -hmm. look at the map of the United States. It's west compared to the majority of the population of the United States, which mm -hmm. is in the eastern time zone. But we're a lot further west than the Midwest. But yeah. it looked like that was hitting more like Michigan and... But we are getting storms tomorrow. Yeah. But I think they're going to be small. Yeah, they are going to be small. So. We'll see. We're not getting but, it, but, but it is heading. Might. It is heading a little bit our way, right? Visual Keto says our local schools have already declared Thursday. No school, and our boss gave us Thursday. Wow. Sleeping cozy blankets. Time for me. Nice. Yep. Uh, we don't have any school Thursday anyway. Yeah, uh, they time. have no school Thursday and Friday. It's uh, no school until, Until like the, the, the third. third. Yeah. Anyway, Sylvia is here. So Merry Christmas. Stay hey, safe Sylvia. Thank you. Sylvia's you here too. from Minnesota. See, there you go. Storm Chasing Girls says, hey guys. Rick one is here. So is Linda. Goomba Lord is here as well. Hello. Julie says, hello from Madisonville, Louisiana. Nice. Uh, Debbie says it's going to be negative two in Wisconsin. Ooh. Um, one of our friends, they're, they're, daughter and her husband just moved in to a place called logan utah mm -hmm. um and it got to like negative seven there and their pipes froze and their pipes froze mm -hmm. like froze hard so sad anyway uh looks like blaze got some buffering it stuttered for a second there i saw that hopefully Shana's it's here, okay so Stwong. hi shauna carrie's here hi, Stwong. hi carrie there you go barbara says hello as well uh, Annabella is here also. Hi, Welcome. Annabella. Annabella, sorry. I always get that wrong. 68, Sandra Case has made cookies from several Keto Chow flavors. So yes. easy. My nine keto eating friends love them. So yes. back to the kitchen to make more. That sounds delicious. And if you didn't see it, we uh, published a great video with a cookie taste yes. test. Yes, yes. And those are all recipes from our site. Yep. Platte River Keto says, good evening, friends. It's going to be so cold here tomorrow and Thursday. <laughs> Negative 45, 45 wind chill. chill. <laughs> wow. That sounds cold. Ghost Rainbow is here from Los Angeles. Please says, I'm considering, considering I'm in Texas towards Houston, high for Friday is 30 degrees. Let's not do the Texas freeze thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that was horrible. I'm done with that. We're not doing that. If, it, if they go to do that again, just say, not Chris recommend. said no. No freezing. No freezing in again. No, mm. Any again? Any again? It needs to be good. Okay. At least Minnesota is getting a three-day blizzard starting oh, Saturday, yeah. Saturday morning. I will be hungering down. Yeah. And Get your hot says, chocolate um, and your blanket. In Arizona, they're cold there, too. Oh. So there you go. Janice says that's all they're saying about Tennessee and Arctic blasts is what they're calling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Blue Rose Girls says potential wind chill of negative 20 in Louisville, which is Abby normal. Yes, yes. And Lynette is listening on her phone. Well, that, how, do, how do the microphone sound with this camera? Oh, yeah. Does it sound okay? It should sound. It's exactly the same camera Is setup. Is it sounding Our nice? microphone setup. This one has finer um, audio gain controls. Oh, okay. 
I'm at a zero and you're at a plus 12. Actually, Ooh. I think I might be at a negative four. 12 years old. Decibels. Oh, 12 <laughs> decibels. <laughs> anyway, uh, Scott says just tried a uh, pecan sticky bun tonight for the first time. Yeah. Glad that I ordered a big bag in anticipation of liking it. Which it's actually out of stock. It is out of stock. <laughs> Speaking so of sad. which, uh, we got notification of that. Was it today, today. or yesterday? It was today. Yeah. So. So I'm glad you got one too because there's none. None more. No yep. more to be had. Uh, did we announce whether or not we had ordered more of that yet? I don't think we've even decided if we've ordered more of that or not. We have decided. Oh, well, that I don't remember we, what the decision was. We, we already ordered more. <laughs> oh, well, you, whether we wanted to say it or not, you already said it out loud. Yes, I did. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know when it's going to be here, though. Yeah. But we did order more. Teresa is here. Jennifer says Indianapolis is expecting 6 to 12 inches of snow Thursday through Saturday, along with negative 1 degree, not counting wind Wow, wow, wow. Not counting wind Oh, there you guys, go. Be, be warm. Uh, we worship 7 Dancer. Oh, 8 worship 7 Dancer. Okay. So it's greeting from Chile, South Texas. Ooh. See, again, we're not doing the freezing Texas thing nah, again. let's not no, do it. No. Not doing it. Well, this is a Merry Christmas to everyone. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, I hope so, too. So we will be doing our live stream on Monday. The 26th. It'll be here again. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just be doing it from the house. Yep. So. Yep. -boo. It should be fun. Debbie says hello from Texas. Yeah, I'm making, I'm making keto chow fudge. Still Ooh, that sounds cookies. so good. Uh, Bob says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Bob. Mm -hmm. The Ghost Rainbow says the more maple waffle shakes I drink, the more obsessed I am with it. Oh. Please, please bring it back. Noted. Thank you. Well, this is uh, Hey There Chow Hounds Totally Space. My InfoStack Keto Chow Classic Go Pack. They gave me a coupon code that doesn't quite cover the full cost. Is that due to the price? Oh, uh, it it's might possible. Because be. um, it's been a long time. Reach out to our uh, customer, customer service, service people. I'll help you. They should be able to get you sorted out. Sorted. Uh, Sean says, and that should be good for one full year, the, uh, the coupon code. Yes, it code. should be. So, so it'll it'll work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just reach out and we can help you work, figure it out. Shauna Fix mailed it. out 132 cards and spent two days moving out of my old storage. Just had a nap. Nice. Good I, job. I, I would like to take it. We didn't get to bed until 11 o'clock last night. It was like 11.30. And then we woke up like we do every day at 5.10. Mm -hmm. Because if we want to get the high school kids... Out the door at mm -hmm. the time they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We have to wake up at 5:10 mm -hmm. so that we can wake them up at 5:15 so that we can read and pray and sing and all that other stuff at 5:25. Mm -hmm. And then get them to the high school by six. So I told Robert, I am going to drop off Max at the high school and then go to the gym. The gun. So now I've said it. Did I you have actually to do uh, it. sign up with the? No, because the mobile app isn't working. So oh, okay. <laughs> I have to actually do it. But yeah, so it'll be. Oh, it'll be next week. Okay. Because they don't have school. Yes. Well, they Thursday. they have school tomorrow. Yeah, but and the, then they don't we have get that to class. Sleep in. Yes. Are we are we getting up at seven? Seven thirty. Now the creative team. We just we just started something with our. Um, marketing and like graphic design and video mm -hmm. teams yep. that they're, they're switching four to four tens. I want to sleep in. But during the uh, two week, next two weeks, yeah, they'll be week, eights next week. They'll be eights. So it'll be fine. So maybe we can get up at seven thirty. I or think so. we should. Anyway, but yeah, they're going in at like seven o'clock. And this morning, because I was working out with you and didn't actually leave here yeah. until like seven thirty. I think it was Bryn said that she was like sitting around waiting for someone to open the. Oh uh, yeah, door. a couple of them were. Yep. Okay. Annabelle says I had blueberry pie keto chow. <gasps> I understand the obsession Yay! now. Yay! I'm so glad you got to try it. Sixty Sandra K has, says Happy Christmas Happy to all. Happy Christmas. Um, Blaze says I'm sounding a little hollow. Hollow. Oh, it could be because. The microphone's not on. Upside down. Upside down and inside out. It's like a freight train. Okay. Is that better? Ha ha. <laughs> anyway, let's see. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Exchange student is here. Suzanne says I came by yesterday. Oh, and yay! picked up the eggnog big bag. 
Yippee! This is Maple Waffle Kiva Chow made amazing chaffles, just saying. Nice. I had some of those I, with yeah, like sausage patties in between them. Yeah. It was fantastic. And you know what I did? I told you guys this already. I got a toaster for Christmas from my sister-in-law mm -hmm. so that we could make chaffles and then heat them up in the toaster. Okay. And so that's what Kate had for breakfast. A whole bunch of ah, chaffles okay. that I made yesterday morning and put in the freezer. Okay. Debbie says, yay, so glad you ordered more. I'm hooked on that flavor. Um, Bluegrass Girl says, what about maple waffle? We have not made any yeah, announcements Yeah, we didn't make an one. announcement about maple waffle. And apparently we made an announcement just now about pecan <laughs> sticky okay. bun. Speaking of Bob Ross, um, there's a YouTube channel called Evan and Caitlin. They're so cute. They're, it's this husband and wife. They, they are really Adorable. So cute. Anyway, so cute. They were doing a Bob Ross. They were following along it's a with craft Bob Ross channel. Yeah, they do funny stuff. We talked yeah. about them before. It's like a, they do resin. They and... were painting keycaps. Yes. Using with, a microscope. With Bob Ross. <laughs> it was. It's just really. Funny. It was so cute. I actually only saw a little bit of it. Anyway, as I was cooking. So he says it, the wind chill is supposed to be negative fifteen Friday in. Alabama. Oh. Alabama is not designed for that sort of thing. Oh, you be careful. Trace says, walking the dog in 28 degrees. Wow, wow, wow. Sean says, that keto chow fudge is too easy. Oh, I'm, nice. finding, I'm finding uh, new combinations. Have you been seeing the post that she's been doing I, on the I've seen Facebook a support group? Yeah. Did you post what you used, like the recipe? Uh, well, she's just, just using the, the regular recipe and just, oh, just using combined. like different Lily's chips or different. Yay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see, Liz is glad you ordered more. I'm starting to use my chocolate mint for coffee this morning to try and hold on to my big bag of pecan sticky bun of oh, Ultima Oh, awesome that's a good idea. Mint's good for coffee though, right? Mm. Yeah, Janice says, uh, Minnesota always gets it. My sister, li Britt, lives there. They have knee-high snow. Oh, yeah. Our front yard has snow in it right now, but it's melting. Yeah. It also has a It has fort. a fort. It, it looks like an igloo. It actually looks like two little okay. mountains. It stopped melting. Have they played in it at all since no. it snowed again? He was so sad. Sam was so sad. He worked on it for like three days with his friends, like non-stop. And, and they were outside all day long. I'm yeah. like, how do you even stay outside all day long? They were. They had flashlights, and they were building it in the dark. I mean, not like yeah. in the nighttime, but like at five o'clock at night yeah, when, when it's dark. Until like eight or nine at night each night each day, and it was so fun. They were just having so much fun, but now all of a sudden they're not playing in it. Okay. Oh wow. And Emily says, "I hope you you feel better. I'm I've been losing my appetite. I'm seeing my doctor today, so I hope I'll feel better soon." I hope so too. And then I tell you, 68 Sandra Case says, "You're looking great. Face oh, looks honey, slim and healthy skin. You're so cute. Thank you. And Terry's been saving eggnog keto chow for this Christmas week. About to treat myself to <gasps> yes! some. Gingerbread coffee this morning. Ooh, Jennifer's gonna make the lemon pie with cranberry topping. That was delicious, by the way. Oh, oh yes, that's so good. Janet mistakenly says, "Y'all are good parents." Oh, thank you. <laughs> we try. We do try. We don't let them watch movies on Tuesday nights. That's true. Because it interferes with our stream. And we make them clean out the dishwasher. I know. Oh. <sighs> Sam had to do the table and stuff today. What the Before heck? he could play the switch. What? <laughs> so he says I ordered 21 packets of pecan sticky bun yesterday because big bags were already sold out. But Yay. I'm happy I got some. I also ordered magnesium capsules to try. Oh, good. To ship today. Tell us what you think about those when you do get a chance to try them. We'd so love the feedback. That's one of the things we wanted to talk about tonight. Mm -hmm. The uh, magnesium capsules. Yes. And for any of you who don't know what we are talking about. as I Wow, 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 wow. There we go. If you go to shop and you go to supplements, supplements. Then you wait for a little bit, <laughs> you go to the sleeping cramps, the try magnesium drops. Try magnesium. Oh, that's a new picture. We do have the magnesium capsules. Yes. On 120 count. There's 100 milligrams of magnesium in each one. It's uh, We hadn't talked about it it's a lot. It's a powder inside a capsule. a capsule. So you don't have to taste it. Yep. It's exactly the same stuff. Because... But the magnesium tastes horrible. Yes, it does. But it works really good. But so the question is, how do you take them? Do you dissolve them in water and then no. drink that? You just take it like a pill because it is like a, a pill. pill. There you go. 
Easy as that. Mm -hmm. I actually do both, and that's just because it's my preference. I do still do the liquid, and I just take one of the capsules at night, and that seems to do the trick. Yep. Exchange student is liking the maple waffle over the pecan sticky bun. Ooh. Susie says, sleep in. I haven't done that since I had children and pets, right? <laughs> Try it. Um, Sean says, didn't you say school is out? It, it's tomorrow yeah, it's is a, the last day. Tomorrow's the last day. For us, at least. And tomorrow's our twins' birthday. Our girl. So I'm going to take, um, I think I'll take Audrey out to dinner. And uh, Haley's in Canada, so I can't take her out to dinner. You say that's last Thursday? Tomorrow. Or Wednesday. Oh, okay. It's tomorrow. Grilling Wednesday, not you grilling Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Gina is here. Says, good evening, everyone. Happy holidays. How are y'all doing? This terrific and still twinkling Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cute. Uh, we are doing good. Yeah. Blue How are you doing? The info stack thing expires February 8th. Oh, thank you. If you didn't order download all of your goodies, make sure you do it. Walter Pennsylvania is here. So is Lori. And Platte River says, yeah, no early morning seminar, early morning Bible study this week. So I'm sleeping in until 6.15 before yeah. I start my morning. See, yeah. that's the thing. We have the that's early morning. That's what we do, too. We have early morning. Study every other day. It's every other day. So but we have still, eight days and We still get up the same time. Same so time. The, on the days that they go to the early morning class, they just get ready before yep. we get up and then, or before the time it is. And then when, on the days that they don't have it, they get up and then get ready after we... Yep. Um, do our little scripture study. Marie is having pork chow bacon for dinner. Yummy. Luke says, squirrel got me. Squirrel. You know how those squirrels get you. Squirrel. You no, know, Luke, I did get a uh, bamboo X1 carbon. He has been printing like crazy. It works crazy. really well. Just saying. Mm -hmm. uh, Storm Chasing Girl says, gingerbread rocks with skinny syrup gingerbread latte. Yeah. Sean says, dear Santa Chris, please bring back more maple. <laughs> Looks like Joe's here. Hey, Joe. Hey. Uh, Luke says, and we haven't added a 3D print to the tree office this season. I know. Oh, what the heck? We're the worst. I, I still have it. I don't have a 3D it's printing time button. Now for I just have computer talk. talk. What the heck? Uh, Scott says, I think the pecan sticky bun will make good waffles for breakfast sandwiches, like yes. maple waffle. I'm going to try it when I get my big bag. Yes. And Bob says, I'm actually liking maple waffle better than pecan. Hope you bring mm. it back. Uh, Linda says the low in Houston will be 16. Again, we're That's not so, doing that again. That's so cold. Tell them I said no. It's cold. Too crazy to says I want to build a snow fort. Come you, over. There's you already one in the front yard. What are planning on doing when they come? Um, I don't think so. Oh. But so, we're gonna go. We're gonna go sledding. We're going to go to the tubing to the mountain. Hill. We we have two places we want to go. And they're right next to each other. Did you know yeah. that? Are we going to go the same day and just do I'm double? I'm planning on just doubling it and up. And then we'll have to sit in the car. It's and like an hour out. and a half drive. You might yeah, as well it's do it far. at the same time. And if it's still open. If it's still open. The uh, uh, Midway Ice it's Castles. It's so cool. So, so cool. what they do up in, in Midway is they have Midway, all of these hoses or whatever, and they squirt up all this water, and they make ice castles. Like they, cool. and, and you just walk through it, and there's all these lights. And they and, embed lights and, into it. And they um, ha make slides, and so you go up there, and they give you like a little carpet or something, and you sit on the carpet, <laughs> and you go down, and there's the little it's, kids it's pretty slide. Silly, but it's, it's a lot cute. of fun. Cute, and sometimes they have Anna and Elsa there. Yep. But yeah. But yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, indeed. But yeah. And if else is, I had cruel parents, I had to wash up dishes. Oh, yeah, there you <sighs> go. Uh, purple of eggnog says I've got keto chow eggnog to go with bones eggnog coffee. That's eggnog uh, on top of yes. eggnog. That is not allowed. Double eggnog. <laughs> Older Pennsylvania says I love the capsules. Oh, thank so you. Crazy kids. Fence Wiz is here. Welcome. How are you? Annabelle says I'm thinking about making my own sprinkles. Kathy says, oh, is yeah. there a preferred time of day? I'm assuming about the preferred um, time of day for the, the taking magnesium. the magnesium. So I've heard two different things. Maria, I'm ex uh, told me this that some people actually get energized by magnesium and some people um it helps them to fall asleep it, it like relaxes your muscles so just play with it i would just change one variable at a time just give yourself three or four days to just add it in at the same time for the four days see how that goes and okay. then either increase it or decrease it or change the time right 
Um, and then, but I know, like I have leg cramps and stuff at night and sometimes I have headaches. And so I know for myself, if I take it at night, it makes me sleepy, which is really helpful because I've never yep. been able to fall asleep good. And then I also have no cramps. So it's awesome no for me. Cramps, no cramps. Lady Fritz Air says Kyo Champ is like a Kyo Chow is like a runaway freight train now. I'm glad I got a stash before me. People train. buy all your, all your stock. I know, crazy, right? Keep out with the good flavors. Okay. Thank you. Joe takes four of the magnesium capsules every night. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I probably take I probably take the equivalent of four because I still do the drops. Yeah. And and then I just do a pill also. And it says happy birthday for the twins. Which one? Thank ones? you. The one that's their birthday tomorrow. Okay. I do. We yes, do have two sets of twins. So our first set of twins' birthday is tomorrow. So they'll be 21. Oh, yep. that's so old. <laughs> <laughs> and then our second set of twins, is uh, their birthday was the sixth. Yep. And so they're already 17. Yes, that's true. And then Sam's birthday was three to, two days ago? Three days ago. And he is 13. Yep. yep. Looks as I have the under five... S1 and a GTEC Thunder. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Books in the Exposing Art says, uh, uh, me speak good. Says, yes, please bring me back and make full off full. Uh, let's see. Exposing Darkness says, Texas, Chris said, no freezing. Right? Right. Just right that. No freezing. No freezing. <laughs> Kathy says, does anyone know how y'all, uh, does everyone know y'all cue weight loss journey? Oh, does everyone know our weight loss journey? She well, doesn't. We do, oh, we do have a. We do have a site. weight loss journey, and a you weight gain there, journey. You've got this our story. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason we do keto chow because we need to do keto. Mm -hmm. um, we're like textbook examples of you need to do keto. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. So here we are. Hey, the why this became our life's work. Here's all of our people. Open the doors. Some of those people. We need to take a new staff picture. Yeah, it's on my Didn't list. Didn't we take one last year? Yeah, but I want a different one. Oh, okay. That one, somebody was behind the beam. Remember? Okay. And I was unhappy. You know, I could so use the uh, Mavic Pro th mm, 3. We're going to take one. Mavic Steve Pro from Sirius Keto recommended when we were here. If we go over the stairs in front of the warehouse area, if the yeah. camera person is up high then you can see everybody from the top. But what we did was we put everybody up the yeah. stairs and then the camera person was down low. And so we're gonna change it around. Do it. Okay. We'll get it, we'll get it. But yes, Kathy, so our story is, uh, our story is we do Start keto. Start doing keto. Yep. Turns out it can be hard to uh, mm -hmm. get the right nutrition all the time. And although I like to make amazing meat, yep. sometimes I don't have the time. Although today, well, actually, yesterday, our daughter, Audrey, mm -hmm. said, hey, can you sous vide me a steak tomorrow? And I said, yes. Miriam, do you want one, too? Yes. Like, do you want a ribeye or do you I want a New I planted York? that idea into yes. her brain. So you when I that, got right? to work this morning, I pulled some um, vacuum-sealed steaks out of the freezer so and put them right into the 135-degree sous vide. I would Just like one for in. tomorrow, too, And then please. it sat there and thought about what it had done until about noon. Mm -hmm. I don't pay attention to, like, how long it's going for. I just set it for 135 every time because mm -hmm. I'm that lazy. And then at noon, I pulled them out, and I walked over to the grill, and I put them on there, and then I uh, broiled them with the flamethrower. Fire, fired them. Mm-hmm. So that they would look like they had actually been cooked on a grill instead of boiled in a bag of... <laughs> Which is yeah. what they did. So. But they're good. They're really anyway, good. yeah. So, okay. And oh, we're back. So I want that tomorrow, too. Um, you're not going to be there. Aren't you going to lunch with Audrey? Dinner. Oh, okay. Going to dinner Nicole with says Audrey. I purchased the magnesium capsules for my parents. Nice. Yay! Christy Davis is here. I'm Christy, to hi. Her. Okay. How are you? And takes it bedtime as well. Uh, to Chris Akio says, we will be experiencing falling iguanas this week. <laughs> Why did we get that? That's because so we don't sad. Have, we don't have invasive <laughs> lizards here. Rihanna is here. Nothing Change falls out of our trees but snow and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so we had unseasonably warm weather in October. Like, it was over 100 degrees. Oh, yeah. 
like yeah. the first 10 or 12 mm -hmm. days of October. It was nuts. So nuts. And then it got really cold really fast. And so the trees, I think, gave up oh. on the leaves. Yeah, they didn't all fall. Some of them are still green. Yeah, they're still on the on the trees. It's crazy. And so we, I was doing the uh, snow blower over by the Harwards. And, and you picked up a bunch of leaves. Well, I was <laughs> getting a bunch of leaves, but also uh, yeah. leaves were falling off the trees uh, with the snow falling. It was. Just I know, weird. it's been kind of a weird year. I'm grateful that we have the snow, though, because oh, if yes. we don't have snow, then we don't have any water in our lakes. So we have to have snow. Yes, we yep. do. Well, and uh, here on, in uh, Utah, where is it? Where is it? The Lake Mead one from yesterday? No, I'm looking for uh, snowpack. Snowpack. So this Here's is snow pack. this is what we have to worry about every year. We worry about getting snowpack. It looks really good this year. Uh, yeah. Although these were a lot better early last week. Yeah. Because the sun comes out and melts all the snow. Last year it was down in the red and um, orange for almost everything. Mm hmm So. Yeah. So hopefully we can keep up some snow. Send it our way from. Yes. Where you are. Texas, if Texas, it's going to start snowing there, way. send it to Utah. <laughs> Just tell them Chris said. And the snowpack. So we, when we had um, two crazy ketos here for, was it Keto Salt Lake last year? Mm -hmm. We took them down the Provo River, yes. which was snowpack melt, right? So that was... Wait, no, was that for Keto Salt Lake? I thought it was later in the season. I, that's why I said I couldn't remember when it was. Yeah, it was, it was pretty when hot. When they were here once. Yeah. Yeah, the water yeah was it was hot because it was summertime yeah it was summertime but the water was not hot because it was the melted snow yeah oh they just came for a meetup in the middle of the summer and we took them then anyway whatever it was it was awesome because we put the Floridians into 60 degree water <laughs> it wasn't 60 <laughs> degrees it was lower than 40 degrees no no it wasn't oh, yes, that it no was. no 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 it's we, the same temperature it was halfway. year round it was halfway mm. It was not 40 it. degrees. It I, could have been 50. No, it was I'm it was it, it was 40 okay. something degrees. It might have been 42 uh -huh. or 43, but it was definitely not 50. Um, anyway, exchange students says I'm a bad <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm right. a sleeper, but I think magnesium <laughs> energizes me. It's coming from the bottom of the dam. And it's the same temperature year round. Well, then it should be able to tell me what it is. Yeah, well, uh, Storm Chasing Gal has chocolate toffee today with chocolate stevia. Ooh. Chris says, happy holidays to you too, Shauna. Yay. Nicole says, yeah, well, lots of December birthdays. We have my father, Miriam's father, five of our children. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it's... It it's says that it's 70 degrees in June. And it's 61 degrees in June and 55 to 70. That's the average water temperature in Provo. Not well, the Provo River. I said Provo River. River. Yeah, well, you're, you're <laughs> looking at the wrong spot. It wasn't 40, but it was cold. It was. Frigid. It was probably 50. There's a great video of a guy hosing <laughs> Joe down <laughs> with the river water. He's like, no. Anyway. Annabelle says my keto chow arrived yesterday. Nice. And Jennifer says, I hope the magnesium makes me sleepy. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, yeah. Um, Sonia says, can you explain the difference in the type of magnesium Kiochai uses versus the kind in most stores? Most Thank stores you. will have magnesium question. oxide, mm -hmm. which is white paint. Yep. It is very <laughs> tightly bound. So the magnesium is hooked onto the oxygen. And it it's difficult for life to break that bond. When you have something like a magnesium hooked to an amino acid, mm -hmm. like magnesium malate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium orotate, that's easier. Mm -hmm. um, you can hook magnesium onto citric acid, magnesium citrate. Yep, and that's, that's also really common, yeah, magnesium that's easy citrate. To break. And that's what uh, you have in like laxatives and yes. milk of magnesia, stuff like that. You can also like take that. magnesium and hook it onto chlorine, mm -hmm. the same chlorine that you get in sodium chloride. Yep, which is what ours is. Which is salt. Um, now it's magnesium chloride, and that's what is in the magnesium um, supplements that we have. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's very easy for your body to use that. The problem is, is that magnesium chloride, magnesium um, orotate, magnesium malate, mm -hmm. for each gram of that, you only have a certain amount of magnesium, like elemental magnesium. That's true. With magnesium oxide, it's like, I, Even I think less. it's like 40, no, it's more. Oh, oxide it's like is more? It's like 40% magnesium by weight. Okay. And so you put a little bit in and it looks really good on the supplement panel. Right. The problem is it's worthless. Because magnesium oxide. It's not completely worthless. It's just not going to absorb as readily it's worthless. as anything Let's else. Let's be honest here. <laughs> it, uh, from a giving you magnesium you need, magnesium oxide is worthless. So, um, and most, most, if you go to like your local yeah the grocery store grocery store and find a magnesium supplement it's going to be magnesium oxide yep now magnesium sulfate mm -hmm. which is also known as epsom salts is good for bath that is a, a naturally occurring magnesium salt mm -hmm. that is a bit more bioavailable you do find it naturally in magnesium um, sources like where we get the magnesium chloride there is a little bit of magnesium sulfate in our magnesium supplements mm -hmm. so the question came up why is there 24 milligrams of sulfate sulfur mm -hmm. yeah in the magnesium drops where does that come from it it's, it's just naturally salt. occurring yeah it, 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 yeah it's just mixed in we there get it from the same place we get the magnesium chloride right uh, let's see. I think I missed a couple of questions, mm -hmm. but anyway. Exposing darkness is abnormal. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> Lady Fritzader. I think iguanas are totally fine on a keto bar diet. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Defensive says, surprisingly, we missed two storms that were calling mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks, with them calling for a bad one later this week, just in time for Christmas shopping. Yeah. Aren't you going to sing the song? White Christmas. Just in time for Christmas shopping. <laughs> says, I, I don't know that water. song. <laughs> uh, Rihanna says, my Ninja Creamy is on the way. I'm excited <gasps> for Kyocho Ice Cream. Nice. Uh, Linda says, I set mine for 131 There you Perfect. go. That, that sounds great. Yeah. Anybody else says, I'm thinking about buying a waffle a cone iron. Oh, I have one of those. And have you used it yet? I, I did. I used it. Oh. I made waffle cones one time. Okay. Exchange students says they made Fizzell's lemon maple uh, waffle and chocolate toffee. Lemon was the best. I returned around and sold the Pizzell maker. I prefer waffles or mug cakes. Yeah. yeah. I use the Pizzell maker, but the problem with the Pizzell's is I use the recipe that's on our site, but they're good and I just eat them all. So then I don't even have enough to save or to serve to anybody else. So I just try not to make them because I don't want to eat all of them. Falling iguanas should be added to the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Falling iguanas, five golden rings. Four calling birds. Falling iguanas. <laughs> so this lemon ring is also really yummy warm. Yes, it is. Um, okay, that uh, is another question. Can you drink keto chow hot? Yes. Do you have to let it sit for a while? Oh, you mean like if they mix it? Yeah. First? Okay, so what we um, have noticed is if you mix it right away and mix it hot, it it helps dissolve the vitamins the hotness. And, and helps the not vitamin-y taste, right? Yep. It, it kind of takes away that vitamin-y taste. So, so if you, you don't have to. If you mix it. it and make it hot, you can drink it right away, and it's not going to have that vitamin-y taste. The reason why we say to leave it for 30 minutes is because of that. Taste kind of yep. goes away, it melts the flavors together in the fridge. But so if you make it hot, you hot. don't have it's to. It's delicious. It's so delicious. And Bell says, I want to make peanut butter chocolate um, biscuits and cookies. Ooh. Today. And Bell says, I have little lizards on my kitchen fence. They crack me up. There's a little lizard wars going on sometimes. Uh huh. You should set up a camera. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could do little voiceovers for the lizards. James says, Yep. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hit the thumbs up. And yeah, Joe says it was last June. See? And also is meant I'm to say chow, peanut butter cookies. There you mm. go. Uh, Bob says, there's snow. Business, business like, like snow. Business like no business, like business I know. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Yep. Dude, your KZQ says it was around 50 degrees and freezing. I still think it was in the 40s. 
Chrissy says, I have so much keto chow because I love it all. My husband said I can't buy any more for a couple months. I use it every day. It has helped me so much. Mm, okay, use up what you got. Nice. Bertolo's face says, cool sweater, Mary. Thank you. So sweater? Actually, it's sweater. Has really cute um, sleeves, Very interesting too. interesting sleeves. Aren't they cute? They had a pink one. Sleeves and... They had a pink one, but they didn't have it in stock. What? Change this is in Illinois. So, snow on Thursday was supposed to go to work, but I already told them, eh, maybe not. Sean yeah. says, I think I, I'll have lemon meringue warm for dinner now. Yeah, you should. Blaze says, Chris said, send the snow to him. I will send it to you gladly. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm set up. I bought a new snowblower this year. Yep, and he already ran over a shovel with it. It was actually a garden, um, like, three thing oh which but, i'm sure the kids were using to build their yes, fort yes they were because they wanted you... more snow and so i went around them with it blowing the snow <laughs> on top of their fort <laughs> yeah. yeah i, I hope it that. lasts i hope it snows every couple of days just so that we can keep that all year round because it's kind of a cool fort and bell says i've only seen snow once in my life one time now <gasps> oh go to canada there you go yeah it's cold there change soon says prime rib and prime rib and salmon was that, that's what's for dinner. Yeah. The bell says I'm defrosting some nice meat. I'm cooking lasagna with turkey meat tonight. Mm. See, the, the reason why I love the, um, whatchamacallit, I love the using the sous vide mm -hmm. is I can take the meat right out of the freezer. Yes. Put it right into the water. And it's just so fast. And I don't have to do anything else. So, and on then Saturday, even we how you've been, you've been, uh, what is it called? Searing, yeah. flaming, firing. <laughs> You've yeah, been putting it's, the it's fire searing, onto, the, onto the thing. It doesn't take that long, right? Like okay. compared to how long it would take to grill it. Okay, here it goes. From the tubing website, Provo River feeds from the bottom of Deer Creek Reservoir and See? is afraid 52 to 55. That's what I right. said. It wasn't 60 and it wasn't 40, so we just <laughs> had to be in the middle. There you go. <laughs> uh, Lady Fritz Ayer says, ionic, small particles, yes. Yes. Blake says, is there a recommendation for reducing keto chow pyrotechnics? Do I need to oh. reduce to that or change fat sources? So, That's a great uh, question. Currently using uh, two shakes a day with three quarters of a cup heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. The heavy whipping cream would be the first thing I would try changing. Yeah, try changing that. Try but changing then that to butter. Give it a couple of days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what we found? A lot of people have found if you use a teaspoon of gelatin per serving, it really helps with that. It helps with the digestion. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, um, if you are not used to some of the stuff in keto chow, it can cause you to have, well, diarrhea. Not everybody gets that. Mm -hmm. I know some people who actually makes them constipated. Yep. And other people have no problem at all. It's because so. everyone's their own special snowflake. Their own their special snowflake. <laughs> so, yeah, but switching it out for, switching the heavy whipping cream out for butter mm -hmm. is the most likely to yield success. But the gelatin does help too. By the way, Joe, we're really liking the DJI mics. Uh, mm -hmm. Jennifer says, I do like my kids enough to introduce them to Keto Chow. Or do I like my kids enough <laughs> to introduce them to Keto Chow eggnog on Christmas? Maybe. Yeah. What you can also do is you can mix a quart. We bought some. I know. Kate keeps asking me to make it. And I'm okay. like, only Dad knows how to make that. It's a quart <laughs> of liquid eggs. Right. A quart of heavy cream. Two quarts of the of almond milk mm -hmm. unsweetened and then you mix that all together in a one gallon pitcher stir with, it up add some nutmeg yep add some nutmeg add some sweetener i use powdered sucralose um, you can add other stuff but we have a recipe on our website let's see if i can find it really find quick. the find keto chow what it's egg called because i want to pull it up in chronometer round. keto eggnog maybe easy keto eggnog year round easy keto eggnog year round load it load it there we it's go it's probably called so easy. there you go a quart of liquid eggs a quart of heavy cream two quarts of sweet almond milk ground nutmeg yellow food coloring if the eggs aren't colored liquid soup gorilla stevia or equivalent to taste that's it it's it's super easy. You can make eggnog all year round. Um, I, I introduced this recipe. I actually found it on um, Reddit. Oh, easy keto eggnog year round. There Great. it is. I found it. Hey. hey. Um, mm. Yeah, somebody had it posted. I adapted it a little. This was before we introduced the eggnog keto chow. So 
You can make it all year long. Yeah, Tigre Zekio says magnesium oxide isn't very bioavailable. It's the worst. And exchange students says glycinate is what I take and it energizes me. Yeah, glycinate is good. Yeah, and I've found that I don't know, I personally don't notice a difference between glycinate, malate, and orotate. They all just have a different yeah. amino acid on there. They work about the same. Yep. Lady Fritz Sater says Dr. Boss has put the whole three pound I bag of Epsom salt in the Yeah, bag. I put a five pound bag because that's what I buy. There's I think. seven. Whatever. I put the whole bag in, but our bathtub is really big. So, but I, I do that. And then she says, sit in there for 45 minutes. And it's really great. I wish I could do that tonight. I could do that right now. I could just turn on the water and you guys could just hear it running. So, turns out that Sam's Club has these. Mm -hmm. It's a two-pack of seven-pound bags. And it comes in this giant box. That's, a, that's only two? No wonder we go through it fast. Yeah, it's two seven-pound bags. Mm -hmm. I just need to make a spot in the closet for us to open up the boxes and just put them in there. And then... We and it's kind of over by the up. adult diapers in Sam's Club. In case you want <laughs> And to the know. pads, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Annabelle says, <laughs> the defense was, I'll take your snow. You can have my hot six months of the summer any day. Yeah. The crazy kiss is worst part is that a lot of meal supplement products use magnesium oxide. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Including a very popular keto one that is not keto chow. Yeah. Yes, they do. Well, and I think um, something that we learned with all of our manufacturing is the manufacturers tend to want to use the cheap, cheaper ingredients. Yeah. Because if they're already using it in other products, they're going to want to recommend that to you. And they're going to say, hey, we can get you this much price cut down if you use yeah. this thing. And we just have to say no. And one gram of magnesium oxide gives you more magnesium on the label. That's the thing. Than one gram so of magnesium So it looks malate. tempting, yep. but you have to know the difference. Teresa says, I'm with Mir Mag Miriam. Magnesium oxide was fine for my leg cramps, mm -hmm. but I will try others soon. <laughs> Pearl says, Chris, mm -hmm. when you're talking about putting meat in the sous vide and you say, I put it in there and let it think about what it's <laughs> did for a while. That just cracks me up. <laughs> it actually cracks me up every time too. So he makes I just himself try laugh. not to laugh at my own jokes <laughs> out aloud. He, do he doesn't try not to. <laughs> say it. Out loud. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin is white and cold. And sparkles in the sun. And sparkles in the sun. And it also says, I think lizards would taste like chicken. Apparently they oh. do. Oh, frogs taste like chicken. Frog Mike likes. says, hi and bye. Been lurking while driving. Just got to the store. You have a good night there, Mike. You probably won't hear us, but yeah. there you go. Be safe. Uh, let's see consistent in keto lifestyles. Because can you oh, use hello. keto chow as flavoring in homemade keto yogurt? Yes. Yes, you can. Do it. I Why have we not done that? Well, I think Joe has actually published a recipe. Well, we should find that out. Joe, did you publish a recipe about that? Did you? Did you? I think a lot of people are just adding one or a half uh, servings of keto chow into that. Well, okay. I think it, what Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm conflating Joe's recipe <laughs> for the egg pudding. Oh, yeah. With using it for the yogurt. I think people have used it for the yogurt. But I have heard people use it for yes. the yogurt. So, uh, let's see. I told them about uh, making the yogurt. Joe's recipe for the yogurt with the fair life and right. um, heavy cream and how you've been doing that because you are upping your fat cream. I have been. In fact, I uh, right now, I, my protein is higher than my fat right now. So I'm, oh, I was at one to one. Okay. I was at one to one last week, but now I'm five over with protein, which it just feels great to eat that much protein. <laughs> <laughs> exchange students says, I was a school uh, school exchange for one year in New Zealand, <gasps> North Island. Oh, cool. That is really cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, Joe says, I mix about a tablespoon of keto chow with mm -hmm. a serving of the yogurt. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Janice points out, rightfully so, that tomorrow is the yep. winter solstice, the yep. shortest day that of the year. that is the day that our children were born. And I was born on the longest day of the year. Because you get to have the sunshine and they get to have the darkness. Although, let's be honest here, the day is the same length. Yep. It's just the amount of sunlight. I know, is. it's depressing though. But hey! It's always dark, darkest just before the light completely goes out. I mean, it's always darkest <laughs> before it starts getting lighter again. <laughs> okay. That is a demotivator, I think it is. Let's see. Demotivator That's really worth our time to look that up. <laughs> darkest before. Despair. Despairing. 
It's always darkest just before it goes pitch black. <laughs> and then it's really dark. <laughs> yeah. Ah. This is Annoying Pop-Up Box. Yeah. I love Despairing. They have oh really funny gosh. stuff. Don't show Max. You can fool all the people all the time. You can fool all the people all the time if your effects budget is large enough. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Actually, my favorite one of these of all time Effort. Hard work never killed anybody, but it is illegal in some places. Hard work. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! Sorry if you're French. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> let's see. Blaze says, a running over shovels must be a dad thing. My dad used to do that all the time. Yeah, put away your shovels and they won't get run over. Yeah. It's garden fork. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Um, tines or, anyway. Rake. A hand this. rake. Yes, it's a hand rake. There you go. Because that's TV. how you make, you pick up the snow with a hand rake. <laughs> and else says, Kristen, you know that rats giggle and you can hear them giggling when they are tickled. Nope. They are so cute. But I don't want rats in my house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, thank you. That's um, funny. Joe says, after researching it, I want to go diving in Utah in the winter. I it's cold. Okay. Blue Lake. In, it, well, yeah. And in, in Blue the, Lake. In Midway Ice. Uh, I hear country. it's really cold and you'd have to wear a nine millimeter um in blue wet lake? Suit. in the blue winter lake was heated. in the winter blue lake now blue this is the one that's out by wendover the one know. that has all the it's mosquitoes. a hot spring yeah it's a hot spring oh well we haven't been there yet so mm -hmm. we'll have to go try it but um we did go to we we certified in what february or something uh yeah we certified in the winter the the part that's the worst is you're in your swimming suit in the parking lot in the winter, it <laughs> carrying, was pretty cold. carrying all of your gear, mm -hmm. walking from the parking lot, because of course it's not close, all the way over to the crater, and then it, and then when you get in there, then you're wet. So when you have to come back out, and then you're like, I'm so cold now that I'm wet. <laughs> but our hair didn't freeze. It was fine. And it also says, I can only wait 12 hours to eat my blueberry pie keto shot. You really only have to wait like 30 minutes, but it does get better um, as time goes on. Yeah. The flavor. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Debbie says, uh, thanks for talking about magnesium tonight. I was getting yeah, foot spasms yeah, yeah, last yeah. night, so just took two dropper yeah. for tonight. And what I noticed, too, is myself, like, I can take less as long as I take it consistently. Because if I don't take it for a while, then I have to kind of take more to just catch up to feel better. And so if I just take a little bit every night, then I really do a lot better. I actually went over to a neighbor's house today, and uh, the lady was talking about she had some um spasms and cramping in her calves I'm oh like, yeah yeah let me go home um, let me get you some try <laughs> this i actually pulled it out of my travel bag it was my oh, dropper personal one. my personal one i would have gave like, her my personal you one <laughs> uh joe says they're good mics our lapel mics are supposed to be there on oh Wednesday. nice that says my new one has sous vide so cool <gasps> yes janice try and tell uh, us annabelle says good. is egg whites or wild eggs or white eggs i'm not sure what you mean uh we i usually do the whole oh whole eggs i usually do the um pudding with whole eggs mm -hmm. and i do it with uh i scramble them luke has to bail good catching up enjoy the new printer see you yeah. later i haven't seen you in a long time uh, let's see annabelle says i've never had an egg <sighs> it's good stuff you should have some i actually in um uh, in church, I used to teach the like eleven-year-old kids, Boys. and we were having a Thanksgiving lesson, and they were asking what everybody was thankful for, and and you said you were I thankful said, for eggnog. eggnog, and their kid, the kid said, eggnog. "What's eggnog? What's eggnog?" <laughs> and I was like, "Are you kidding? What? You don't know what eggnog so is?" I, I asked, I asked, I asked their dad. <laughs> I'm good friends with him, and I'm like, "Tom, what's up with your kids never having eggnog?" And he said, "Oh yeah, my wife Ruth." doesn't really like eggnog so we just never bought it and so i brought them eggnog that night you we brought them eggnog every year for a while we did that was the first night though and <laughs> it's good stuff yeah think of it as a uh really thick well normally i i believe it's mixed up with rum i've never had it mixed up yes. with yes Although one time I went to a sleepover in the house that we were staying at, this was when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. they 
I, I'm an eggnog fiend. For those of you who don't know, I have an unhealthy relationship with eggnog, which is why I made keto, eggnog keto chow, and which is why I was so sad when we had to change it to a seasonal. I flavor. know I'm the worst. It just didn't sell um, outside of the the season. So we, you're at a sleepover. Yeah, so I'm at a sleepover. And my experience growing up with eggnog was you would cut eggnog with milk. With skim milk. Yeah. Even though it's so full of sugar. sugar. Uh, yeah. well, they were talking we about that too, on the consistently could... keto lifestyle. It's like thirty four grams per serving. Of skim milk? No, of sugar oh, wow. per That's serving. A lot. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, you were saying. Yeah. No, I was going to say that because we couldn't afford oh, the egg, because the yeah. egg, it was so expensive. It was so expensive. And so you would cut it and with milk. And so you'd cut it to make it go further. Yeah. And then. So yeah. I had never had straight eggnog. Mm -hmm. And we're at this house and it was myself, my brother, my other brother, and my other brother because all four all of us Because the boys lined had, up had brothers that were with, the same. Yeah. And That's so fun, the right? mom said, hey, do you guys like eggnog? And we're like, yeah. Yes. yes. She's like, well, someone gave us a gallon of eggnog, and none of us like it. We're like, what? Didn't you put it in your cereal? Well, so first, uh, we aside from cutting it with milk, yeah, we'd also sometimes cut it with Sprite. I had never did that until like my senior year. No, it's good. When the guy I was dating, his dad cut it with Sprite, and it was good. You can you can cut keto chow eggnog with Sprite too. Yeah. Sprite zero. Uh, Diet anyway. Sprite. So, yeah, we, we were able to drink little cups of it straight, which was just So like, fancy. Ooh. And then the next morning, I had frosted flakes with eggnog in it. Yeah, that sounds good right now. Too bad we don't eat frosted and flakes you, anymore. Just think of how many carbohydrates are in that. That's just nuts. Anyway, I hope I'm not triggering, triggering anyone. Yeah, don't think about don't What think you about can do, though, flakes. if you have some eggnog keto chow... Mm -hmm. And if you happen to have like magic spoon cereal mm -hmm. or something like that, actually yep. any flavor of keto chow. Or you can do like a keto uh, granola. Yeah. That would be good. Well, I, I, I really like any flavor of keto chow with any keto cereal. We you also mix them like together the, and eat them with a spoon. Like the high key Fantastic. cookies as cereal. Yes. This is but not like a nice cereal thing. bowl, like a cereal bowl. Yes. Oh, yeah, a little teeny thing. <laughs> I usually do it with a cup. Yeah, I like a little cup. Yeah, I try to it myself. Uh, let's see. Burlow's Paint says, yeah, I tried frog legs, rattlesnake, and alligator. They all taste like chicken. Yeah. Oh, I want Why alligator. Why can't eggs taste like chicken? Because ah. they're, they're not chicken that are done yet. They taste kind of like chicken. Shauna says, tomorrow is National Short Girl Day. Oh, is it? There's National Tall Lynn Girl says, Day? Lynn says, tomorrow is our 48th wedding anniversary. <gasps> Happy wow. anniversary. Uh, let's see. Sonia says, since my keto chow package shipped today, I'm hoping it makes it here by Saturday. So I, I hope so, too. I can have waffles Christmas morning. Oh, wouldn't We've that be good? We've done that. Did we do that last year? We totally Probably. did that last year. Yeah. It's just waffles takes a long, take a long time to make. Normally for Christmas morning, we do, we'll do a, like an egg casserole. Yeah, an egg casserole, like a whole bunch of sausage, a whole bunch of bacon cut up into pieces, and a whole bunch of eggs mm -hmm. and cheese mixed together. And my daughter, she was doing a class, and they had a project where they needed to take family traditions and find out the origin of them. And she's like, Dad, why do we always do this casserole thing on Christmas? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's because I have to wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning and stick it in the oven, and then I can go back to sleep. Yeah. And then wake but it's up. It's not quite four o'clock. It's probably five o'clock. It takes like three hours to cook. Not that long. Yeah, that long. For eggs. Although it's better if you cook the meat ahead of time. Yeah. Anyway, which we oh we need to do that if because well, we need to do that for we need cameras, to do that for too. Saturday too. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm gonna go to the store and get some uh, eggs. Sausage. sausage. Oh, I want sausage. Mm. Oh, you know what we can do? We can smoke the sausage. Joe, did you smoke sausage oh, yet? Oh, it's so good. Did you did you, you tell him you did yeah, that? Yeah, I showed it on the live stream okay. not too long ago. I know, you, but maybe it was. You take here. the chubs of sausage. Yeah. Cut them open. You just stick them on the grate on in the, the smoker. smoker. And then and it had the smoke ring and everything. So good. And then <laughs> we just cut them up and we just ate them. <laughs> like a little piece of pepperoni. It was so good. It was really anyway, good. Anyway, uh, let's see. Anybody else says, Rakes makes me think of Sideshow Bob. Uh -huh. 
Well, this is, I said it last night, when I put my pork butts up and dry, oh, Brian, yeah. think about what you've done, right? Hey, yes. you think about what you've done. You think about that. A friend, he says, how do you make waffles with a mix? I don't know how you can do that. You want to say? Yeah, so uh, everybody does it a little bit different. We like to do things very simple. Yep. And we just do three eggs, one cup of mozzarella grated cheese. You can yep. use different kinds of cheese. Mozzarella, the low moisture just works really well. It just works good and we like it. So like that's what we use. Better than cheddar, better than Colby Jack. And then just one scoop of keto chow. Any flavor. flavor. The Any savory flavor. flavors work really good too. Savory chicken soup. You've got hamburger buns. Yep. Tomato basil. You've got mini pizza crusts. Do a little crust. pizza crust. Strawberry, little... you've got strawberry. Maple waffle, yep. you've got maple waffle. Like mm -hmm. at eggnog. We actually do eggnog a lot. Mm. Eggnog as the, waffles. As the shuffles. And we put them into the little teeny dash, the mini dash things minis. Because I refuse to buy Miriam one of the ones that I makes four. I kind of want because that. Because she already has six of the little guys. I, but I use them. But the thing is, so this is, here's my thinking. Why I think I just need to buy one of the fours <laughs> is because you. You can't put more than four of the mini dash makers on that same breaker. Okay. Because it'll trip the breaker. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to put more than that big one on there either. But I could put that big one and then two more. I don't think you could. It would probably trip the breaker. Guess we'll find out. Um, James from Ready Set Keto mm -hmm. was complaining to Emmy. It was his birthday. He was like, oh, if we Emily. Had put this, Emily, sorry. We, if we had put this in the dash then we would have the little breadstick things too <laughs> really oh funny. little breadstick things yeah uh, exposing darkness says will you have big bags when you get the blueberry again yes yes we will um in fact let me let me corroborate do, do, that do, 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 do. so do, if you go to do, 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 shop thanks for spending the evening with us you guys spending the evening you with just us. make us so happy scroll down to the bottom till you get to the these flavors aren't available any oh my gosh Stupid pop up thing. Why did it just reverse? It I don't know. Scrolling direction I don't know. Me. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. I've got one job. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, it actually doesn't say it's going to be in big bags as well. Oh, I guess we I can think fix that. That is on a blog post. Maybe. That it says we're. Okay. Well, I came to show you this and. Well, well, you didn't anyway. need to see it after all. Blueberry will be coming back in the large bags as well. Suzanne says, I changed my magnesium subscription from the liquid to the capsule, and they arrived today. Yay! Then he says, will the pumpkin spice be back anytime oh, soon? Oh, sorry, no. It's going to come back next season. We didn't order enough to yeah, make it through this fall. season. So fall of 2020. We thought we did, but we didn't. Same thing with the eggnog. Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately, just because it takes so long from when we say go to when we actually get it mm -hmm. it wouldn't be here in time for people to still want it and we've been talking about so, the eggnog this whole time and we're sold out this was an says meat not good <laughs> annabelle says do you add alcohol for the eggnog you can people can yep. we don't drink alcohol so we don't it's changed since i cooked for a youth group and eggnog is the one thing they asked for <gasps> i never tried oh. <laughs> John says, or maybe warm eggnog tonight for dinner with a rum yes. extract. Yes. You can do a yeah, rum extract. Yeah, we have done rum extract. Mm -hmm. And Bill says, I have to get ready. See my doctor. Okay. Pretty yourself up. Yeah, you take you care go. of you. Thanks for hanging we'll out Put your face us. on. John says, my good friend's husband works at a dairy. She becomes an eggnog widow during the season. Oh, <laughs> well, it's yeah. It's funny. It used to be eggnog only came out like from November on. Yeah, now it's it a Halloween. became a Halloween thing. Which you were not sad about when I was not happening. sad about it all. That was a long time ago. There's a reason I don't drink eggnog. <laughs> anyway, Reese says, I always split it with milk because I didn't like how thick and syrup yeah. like it was. Yeah. Yeah, there's no eggnog keto chow right now, unfortunately. Rose Paint says, I just had coffee to my keto chow, eggnog keto chow because that's my true love. Eggnog latte. Oh. He's supposed to says, Yay, a day for us short people. That's so cute. Uh, there you go. Uh, and and that's usually what Shauna said. Yes, what? otherwise known as Ask a Tall Stranger for Help Day. That's right. <laughs> that's how you get guys' phone numbers, huh? You're like, I can't well, this reach is, this. I tried to smoke sausage. Also, can what you temp give me your best? number? I did it at like. Oh, what is it? I did it at like. 175. Um, I think I was doing it at like 190. Yeah. You don't Pretty do low. it. Uh, you can set it for whatever temperature you want. Just stick a, a temperature probe in there because you never smoke 
for time, you smoke to temperature. You smoke for smoke. Period. How long it's going for has nothing to do with anything. It just usually ends up it's being whatever you can temperature kind of it gets to. Figure it out once you've done it a few times, right? Yep. Uh, Sonny says, "Will grape be coming back? We have no plans to bring back grape, or the black or red it's licorice." Because grape is gross. Yep. And let's see. Oh, that page doesn't have it. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see. If I go to grape. Wow. wow. And here the we go. The more info right there. Right there. Oh, and it actually said there's no plan to restock this flavor. Mm -hmm. But see here you got the grape it is discontinued mm -hmm. in the small and it's not planned to be brought back in mm -hmm. the large ones. So Sad. we do have an availability page. Uh, now he says, what's the difference between the pumpkin spice and the gingerbread? The gingerbread has ginger in it mm -hmm. in addition to other spicy stuff. And the pumpkin um, spice has pumpkin spice in it? Yeah, that's. I know that's a stupid answer, but that's really mm -hmm. the, the difference. Um, Randy says the reason why you're sold out of eggnog is because he drank it all. Actually, I haven't had any of the eggnog for quite some time. When we are getting low on stuff, I deliberately abstain from getting it because I want other people to have some. Yeah. So, uh, Defense says, was, says I'm holding on to my last red licorice. I don't want to use it because oh, I don't want to be had. I don't have Eventually any I break either. down and make ice cream. Yeah, red licorice, we don't have any, mm -hmm. but we do have In our um, cupboard, personally, we have some black licorice. Like. Bluegrass Girl says make eggnog with vanilla keto chow and eggnog Loran super strength flavor. That would work oh, extremely totally. well. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally yes. would. Christy says, can you put eggs in the eggnog? Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, Marie says, egg, mix eggs and nutmeg into the vanilla keto chow. There you go. So he says, eggnog takes me to a happy place. It's just so delicious. It is. It's so delicious. Uh, Annabelle says, silly question. Does pumpkin spice keto chow taste like pumpkin? It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It tastes like the pumpkin spice part of the pumpkin. Yeah, it tastes like the pumpkin spice. It's like the the seasonings. Uh, Storm Chasing Gal says, never tried the grape. Any plans You're to make fine. other flavors? Grape is gross. So how we kind of arrived at whether or not a flavor become, goes seasonal or permanent, mm -hmm. if a flavor isn't selling very well and it is permanent then it will likely get switched over to seasonal if a limited edition flavor sells really really well enough to bring it back in the 21 meal bags then mm -hmm. it likely will become either seasonal or, or permanent. permanent flavors that have more of a seasonal application makes sense like the gingerbread we brought that back as a seasonal flavor um, it did really well last year as a limited edition. We're like, okay, next year, do it again. We're gonna bring that back. Oh, we still have quite a bit. We do, and I really we're, like we're it. We're well stocked. Up. I wonder if we should if we should launch it earlier next year, like when no, we no. get pumpkin spice and eggnog back in. That'd be good to think about. Well, we could try to one up Starbucks and relaunch it in August. No, they. I think they were launching it at the beginning of Not August. Not gingerbread. They were no, launching they're... pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice in August. Yeah. I know because we had they had, they launched it September sixteenth last year. So I was like, we got to beat them. No, nope. they still launched yep. before us. It's like putting up the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so I put the Christmas up in August. We did have a question. Does keto chow have trans fat in it? Oh, do you want to tell us what trans fat? No, it fat? does not. Um, Sorry. If you use heavy cream. There is what is technically considered trans fat in heavy cream. It's not the trans fat that people should be worried about. This came up in a conversation on Sunday, mm -hmm. actually. Um, trans fat, um, trans fatty acids, is where you take a polyunsaturated fat. Right. Okay. Chemistry 101. Fats are carbon linked together with hydrogen stuck on the sides. Right. If that chain of carbons is completely full of hydrogen. It is a saturated fat. That is literally the definition. There is no other definition. It doesn't mean it's bad for you. It doesn't mean that it will cause heart disease. It doesn't mean it any it is it doesn't mean that it's solid at room temperature because there are saturated fats that are not that are liquid at room temperature, mm -hmm. like MCT oil. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Saturated. If you have one spot where there isn't 
all of the hydrogen, that's a mono unsaturated. So there's one spot where instead of the, the two hydrogens, the oxygens are like, oh, I guess we'll double link. There's a double bond. And that causes a kink in the structure. There's, and that's, there's only one of those. If you have a fat that has a bunch of those double bonds, then you have a polyunsaturated. Because of the physical, you know, the science class with Mr. Bear. <laughs> because of the physical way nerd, nerd, that nerd. Um, the polyunsaturated fats are set up, they tend to be liquid at room temperature most of the time. Most of the time. Also, that double bond is saying, hello, I, yeah. I want my carbon. There's like, I said, there's like a little weakness. Yeah. I, I said that the two oxygens were hooked together. I'm sorry. You meant carbon. Carbons. Those car that double bond can break, and then become oxygenated. Yeah, right? oxidized. Yep, exactly. Oxygenated. <laughs> Octogenarian, and that when you open up a, a old thing of oil and you and smell, you bad. smell that rancid. It's because those broken sections got oxidized. Oxidized. Yeah. I know what it is. I just said it wrong. And that's the and our senses are really tuned. To mm -hmm. that smell, we can detect it very good mm -hmm. because it's it's a bad smell. Saturated fats don't experience that because they are very stable. They're completely full. They're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Your body, when you have excess calories, and your body needs to store it somehow, it creates saturated fat. I think it's actually C16 is the specific saturated fat that it creates. It would be ludicrous for that type of storage to cause problems in your body. Your body would not put itself into a state of disease like that. It makes no sense. From an engineering perspective, there is no reason it would do that. So... By that logic, and by a lot of other logic, and a lot of people mm -hmm. explain this a lot better than I do, but saturated fats are actually your body's preferred way to get and store fats. It's just far more efficient. It is more stable. Um, you can generate more uh, adenosine triphosphate using C16, triglycerides, the whole deal. But whatever. Right, it's another... Science class with Mr. Bear. Okay, so we're back to nerd, nerd, nerd. polyunsaturated fats. Back in the days when you had Crisco and stuff like that, they wanted to make stuff that looked like saturated fats mm -hmm. that everybody's grandma knew was the stuff that you wanted. Right. Out of these cheap industrial seed oils that were polyunsaturated. So what they started doing is they would use a chemical process and like high pressures and stuff like that to force hydrogen onto the polyunsaturated fats. They were hydrogenating, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you take a seed oil and you hydrogenate it, you create a trans mm -hmm. fat. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a cheap oil that all of a sudden behaves like a saturated, like a saturated fat. fat. But it's not exactly a saturated fat. And our bodies don't know what to do with this stuff. It's like, what is this? I, I don't have the enzymes to break this thing up because it's not shaped right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that occurs in nature the way that those trans fats are made. Now, there are naturally occurring trans fats, and that is what you find in heavy cream, because it meets the criteria chemically of a trans fat, it has to be labeled as such. Mm -hmm. And so on heavy cream, you will see that there is trans fat. Now, there's this great lady named Nina Teichels. She's a journalist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was the one who discovered that trans fats cause all sorts of crazy, nasty health problems. And she blew this thing wide open. There were congressional hearings. 
She wrote a book called Big Fat Surprise. Mm -hmm. Her, that book is amazing. If you are kind of waffling on living a ketogenic lifestyle and you want to get a good why from a scientific basis, mm -hmm. and she doesn't like she doesn't do it super sciency. She's not coming from a, a like researcher background. She's coming from someone whose job it is to explain yeah, just to tell concepts the story. to people. Like she does a really good job. And so she explains some of the stuff. And then she, so she first started with the whole trans fat thing. And when she was researching that, she discovered that all of this stuff about cholesterol and saturated fat is a big fat lie. And then that's why she named it that book that way. Um, she also did a lot of research about the so-called Mediterranean diet and how nobody can agree what Mediterranean diet even means. Um, anyway, fantastic book. So check it out. Does keto chow have trans fat in it? No. Is trans fat bad for you? The naturally occurring stuff, I wouldn't worry about it too much. The stuff that you find in um, processed food products, yes, I would be very concerned about that, especially if it says like partially hydrogenated um, seed oils. Yep. Things Soybean like that. oil, mm -hmm. anything that says hydrogenated, that's a, that's your word that you'll see. And the thing is, it was um, not exactly banned from use, but it was mm -hmm. heavily discouraged. Um, I think there is a ban in place, but it doesn't take effect until like 2035 or something like that. They said, okay, we know that this is terrible for humans, but you but can go ahead not, and keep using it. Let's not make it. For a while. Bad. Um, I, think, I feel actually. like I need to do that. Well, actually. Um, <laughs> so there you go. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we go through the rest of our questions? Uh, we still have a couple more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's catch up. Storm Chaser says, through the winter, we'll seriously miss the holiday ones. There you go. Uh, consistently Keto Lifestyle says, what flavor is closest to Shamrock Shake? The chocolate mint? Yes. yes. It tastes exactly like It tastes really good mint. warm, too. It tastes amazing warm, especially... If you use butter, butter. So, good. so good, and and f especially for people that are trying to limit their protein and get more fat yep. for whatever reason you have, yep, you can use as much or as little fat as you want, and you yep. can even split it with your boyfriend. Yeah, you can split <laughs> it with your boyfriend. John says, "I hear words, lots of words." Uh, somebody says, "I've never tried rum extract, now I think I have to buy it." Yeah. You can usually find it at most grocery stores. Yeah, just what regular Walmart. What you can't Walmart. find anymore is root beer extract. None of the supermarkets by our house have root beer is extract. Is it because you just buy root beer? I don't know. But you used to be able to find it. And I found, okay, so mm. we have a soda stream. Yes. And I wanted root beer soda. Yes. Using the soda stream. And I, I got the, oh, why don't I just buy root beer extract? I couldn't find it. Mm. I went to like four different grocery stores by us and nobody had root beer extract. I had to buy it on, on Amazon and then I used liquid sucralose with it and it's fantastic. Anyway. Nice. Uh, let's see. Bertolos Paint says, I'm glad someone knows chemistry so I don't have to. Yes. I still cannot believe I passed chemistry for non-majors in college. Guess what? I have never taken a high school or college chemistry class. I took chemistry <laughs> and physics and biology and human biology. I took human biology. That was fun. That was my favorite class. Teresa says, Mirror's facial expression during the science talk with Mr. Bear is cracking me up. <laughs> and that is her saying, nerd, nerd, nerd. Yep. <laughs> Shane Soon says, you lost five people during that time. I Only know. five? Yeah, right. It's so boring. Whoever lost face says, will there be an exam? I'm in trouble. No, there will not. Then he says, "Would could keto chow help break a stall? It could. Being consistent with the... Foods that you're eating, maybe tracking, mm -hmm. maybe sticking to stuff that you know is going to work for you. Yep. That could be keto chow. That could be keto chow with butter. A steak. Yeah. That could be keto chow with a bunch of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Mm -hmm. It could be just beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Um, those are good ways to break a stall. Yeah. So. One says, I just bought root beer extract about a month ago. Did you get it from the store or did you have to buy it online? Because I had to buy it online and yeah, I was super heck? upset about it. Okay. Um, 
We already asked about, oh, we didn't ask. Is it okay to add daily minerals to hot coffee? Yes, you sure can. Because uh, we've talked about this. A yeah. lot of times people lump minerals and the vitamins together, but they're not the same. No. So vitamins will break down. Minerals will not. I, so I, you can use minerals in hot stuff and yeah. it's never going to break down. So someone asked this on the face, Keto Chat Facebook support group and I said, as long as you keep the temperature lower than 7,000 degrees, you should be fine. <laughs> Which actually you could go a lot hotter than that yeah, and it would still be fine. But I figured that was enough of a preposterous answer that it communicated that you, you should be just fine. Okay, what about the other electrolytes? Are those uh, they're okay? all minerals. Yep. Yeah. Yes, so indeed. they can get hot. They can get super hot. So you can cook with them and you'll still have the taste. Yes, you can. Um, okay, last question. Shannon asked, I just found a bunch of Keto, ch keto Chow single serve mm -hmm. packets while cleaning my pantry. They all have a best by date of oh. May 2022. I hate to throw them out. Are there, there, because there's quite a few, do you think they're still fine to use? So here's the thing. We just take, took those same ones from 52022 and got them recertified for two more years. Yep. So technically, if you bought those ones with those same dates, they are good until 2024. Yeah, we, um, we literally took the packets, gave them to a company that does and we like nutrition them. analysis mm -hmm. and said, hey, does this still have the nutrition that's there, written on that's the thing. there. And they said, oh, it actually has more. It, like, It made great. more? Yeah, it, 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 it still had more than what was listed on the okay. thing. Okay. It, it was still more than potent, according to what we said. And we said, uh, cool. Can we uh, say it's good for another two years? And they said, absolutely. They, they wrote off and said, yes, this is absolutely fine for another two years. And so we had them recertified. So if you have stuff that still says... Five of 2022, yeah. it is... It technically could say five of 2024. In fact, there are probably packets from the same lot that you have that say... Five of 2024. Five 2024. Because we got them recertified. Yep. Uh, okay, Burlesque Fane says, what are people doing with root beer extract for real? I get the soda stream, but I feel like I'm missing the big root beer picture. So I, I carbonate the water. Actually, I put a couple of ice cubes... Mm -hmm. in you never if okay yeah don't put the flavoring in first i put the flavoring in after this took me so long to understand okay because if you're not part of the solution you're part of the precipitate nerd 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 Dead -dead. so you want p as pure of water as you can possibly get mm -hmm. when you're gonna do the soda stream because you can't push carbon dioxide into the water if there's already salt or anything else Otherwise or flavoring. It'll go... Yeah, it'll do the Diet Coke and get to a fountain in your kitchen. And I think everybody has to do that at least once. It's like, they're like, they say on the thing, use clean, pure water. You can put ice in there. That's not a problem. Yeah, it doesn't, put ice it in doesn't there, mind the ice. And when it's shooting the air in, it's mixing the ice and chilling down the water. But if you put flavoring in and then try to carbonate or if you put daily minerals in yes and you try to carbonate you can't put it, the daily minerals in either there's not any space for the co2 and so we'll we'll foam up and go all over the place and then you're like ah, i just have to clean the counter now yeah and i don't have a drink so yes that is my favorite nerd joke lately um i'm over it <laughs> so <laughs> you carbonate the water and then in this case i'm taking root beer extract with some liquid sweetener. sweetener and sometimes i'll put it right into the bottle or sometimes i'll put it into the bottom of a cup and pour the bottle into there mm -hmm. and then it's all mixed up or you can take those squeezy things that you get like the mio or the other water enhancers i actually prefer those over the the, the like syrups mm. because the little teeny things of especially the walmart yeah, they're great concentrated value, you can get so much out yeah, of those. Yeah, you really can. It's like a little teeny squirt does an entire one liter. Mm -hmm. So, guess what I got to do today? What? I was in a meeting with our one of our web people and a bunch of other people. Okay. And Summer was uh, talking about something, and I'm like, ah, you're just whining too much. You're as bad as my 
first oh. <laughs> as my first fiance. She's like, whoa, what? wait, what? I said, <laughs> yeah, we've been engaged for six months. And then the whining started. Mm -hmm. I want to know your name. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite uh, joke. <laughs> that anyway, also is old. That, yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but apparently yeah. Summer hadn't heard it yet, so. Lynn says we have a cheese house in New Wilmington, uh, Wilmington, Pennsylvania. That's where I got it. Yeah. I want a cheese house. Yep. Anyway, uh, Blue says Walmart, great value, even has them without colors. That is true. Mm. Shane Sue says I did a magic trick last week with my butter water pre keto shot. I accidentally turned on the Vitamix without the lid. <gasps> no! I'm sorry. And my face bite too. Wore it. Thankfully, not super hot water. Mm. I have done that. Wendy with Loving it. on Keto did it. Mm -hmm. She actually got it on video. I did not get it on video. Mm -hmm. I spent the better part of an hour cleaning the cabinets. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that's a mistake I only have to make once. I have done it probably All twice. Right. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? Nope. Just okay. have a good holiday, everybody. Yeah. We'll Enjoy be thinking your, about you. Your Christmas and... or whatever holidays you choose to celebrate. Yeah. I hope they're fun for you. I so. hope so too. It could be fun, though. It could be. <laughs> like, hold on. I want to find that really quick. Let's see. Um, yeah, we keep saying it. Studio C, it could be fun. There it there is. There it is. Well. But is that actually it? I. Th oh, th it is right below it. This right here. Masters of Disguise compilation. Video unavailable. It's re oh, it's because uh, we're on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, here. we'll just throw so, the link in there. Yes. Uh, copy that. Go back to if here. If you want to watch something silly. It's super silly. It could be fun, though. It could be. <laughs> all right. Well, you all have a fantastic night, and we will catch you on Monday. Bye. Okay? Merry Christmas. Happy yep. holidays. Okay, bye. I didn't end. I hit start streaming. You started again. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to hit stop streaming. Okay. <laughs> I got to wait for this to finish. <laughs> Hi, guys. So did you go to the same thing or did you start a new I, I pushed the start stream. No, it's still doing the same thing. So, oh, okay. Well, goodbye for, again. Yeah, goodbye. for bye, bye goodbye. for real. Almost. Goodbye. goodbye now. You have to hit the little bye. bell icon. So you can get notified every time I hit the wrong button. I hit the start button ding, 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 ding. instead of the end button. Ding, ding. Okay, now we're going to go for real. For real. Have a fun day. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Except we probably sound funny because the microphones are down. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.